Welcome to Islamic Republic of United Kingdom. It's been on the news today that in Yorkshire, in a grammar school, a teacher who showed the caricature of Muhammad not only being sacked, but also parents stepped in in front of the school and practiced Sharia. I hope you all watch this, you all read it and watching it, how shocking, how terrible it is in 21st century, in the United Kingdom, showing the pictures of Muhammad at school. And school is supposed to be a place where our next generation learns how to think critically. School is the place where we, our next generation comes up. But what happens is, apparently, our next generation cannot think critically. Because a teacher shows the pictures of Muhammad and then not only being sacked, school apologizes for it and this protected group who is in front of the school is simply asking teachers to be sucked. It's amazing. And school simply follows the order. Let's read it according to Sky News. Badly gr Grammar School. Teachers suspended as a parent's protest after the image of Prophet Muhammad shown in class. One parent at Butley Grammar School in West Yorkshire says the cartoons was taken from Charlie Hebdo. Remember, 12 individuals are being practiced because certain people group could not handle a picture of a man called Muhammad who has been dead for 1400 years. And as you go through, you've got 52 second video in here. In this 50-second video, you've got people, clearly they are breaking down all the coronavirus regulations. People in front of the school are saying, take bir Allah Akbar, Allah Akbar, Allah Akbar, and then saying shahada in front of school in England. This is not Saudi Arabia. And it is simply allowed to do so. I'm sure that goes under the freedom of speech. So be careful when you critic the freedom of speech. So let's read the news in case you didn't read the news. A teacher has been suspended and their school forced to apologize after a caricature of Muhammad was shown in a class, sparkling a protest from parents. Demonstrates gather outside Badly Grammar School in West Yorkshire on Thursday following reports a member of staff had shown the students the image during the religion studies lesson. You are studying the religions, your teacher is showing a picture and families, parents, very similar stories from the Paris, remember, from the France, Parents stands up in front of the school while you can only meet outside with one person. They gather out of, outside of the school for the demonstration, for the protest. Description of Muhammad are considered deeply offensive in the fate of protected group. Yet, Caricatures of Boris Johnson is absolutely fine. Caricatures of Queen is absolutely fine. Caricatures of Jesus is absolutely fine. But certain protected group cannot handle it. Oh, this time, instead of going to the Mr. Policeman or Mr. YouTube, what they have done as a group, they went in front of the school. Where our next generation is supposed to think critically. But their critically thinking brain is being taken away, apparently. One parent at school says the cartoons were, was taken from Charlie Hebdo, the French satirical magazine that was attacked in 2015 by Islamic terrorists 
who killed 12 people. When they say Islamic terrorists, they simply mean followers of Islam. They killed 12 people. And what happens now is, oh, a teacher is showing the cartoons of those drawings. And then head teacher is simply says, oh, we shouldn't be using those images. Poor head teacher. Can you imagine how difficult it must be while protected group members outside of your school simply says, Allah Akbar and Allah Akbar and Allah Akbar. Because when we hear this magic word, what we know is something is going to happen. Not you are going to receive flowers and chocolate, but it is the sign life side might be taken away. Or Islamic Republic of United Kingdom is in action. Citizens of Islamic Republic of United Kingdom in action. The caricatures were shown was shown to the students in a, in a lesson on 22nd March last week, according to the letter to parents seen by Sky News. Let's continue. School leaders were forced to apologize, admitting that images image was totally inappropriate. What is the image? Caricatures of Muhammad. How they are apologizing? They are forced to apologize. Why? Because in front of your school, members of the protected group is screaming Allah Akbar. And media already told us, Muhammad is so untouchable, you cannot even show his pictures. And then head teacher simply says, the school unequivocally, I can't pronounce that word, but it is word is there, apologize for using a totally inappropriate image in a re recent religion studies lesson. It should not be used. Pic using the pictures of Muhammad is inappropriate, but using the pictures of the Queen, Boris Johnson, Lord Jesus, is absolutely fine. Because feelings of the protected group is being hurt. No one cares about the feelings of others. A member of staff has also relied their most sincere apologies. We have immediately withdrawn teaching on this part of the course and we are reviewing how we go forward with the support of all the communities represented in our school. Yeah, we are not going to teach this anymore and we are working with the community leaders and then see how we can go forward. It is important for children to learn about faiths and beliefs, but this must be done in a respectful, sensitive way. Oh, well, you've got to tell that to Muhammad when Muhammad was chopping off people's head, when he was climbing on the top of child, encouraging people to marry with children and divorce them, encouraging husbands to go into their wives however they want, calling non-Muslims worst of creatures, and calling your death. But how can we do these things sensitively? We just withdraw the teaching and we suck the teacher. Anyway, let's continue. A member of staff has been suspended pending an independent formal investigation. So now teacher is being suspended. Why? Because he showed the pictures of Muhammad and now there is an independent formal investigation about the teacher. Why? Because teacher is encouraging students to think critically. That's what they are paid for, by the way. But that's what they are paid, by the way. He said, the school is working closely with our governing body and the community leaders to help us resolve this situation and we continue to do so. So we are going to ask the community leaders, such as leaders of the protected group, who are right now in front of the mosque, uh, in front of the school, asking 
teacher to be sucked. We are going to ask them, how can we handle this? And they will guide us. How? You just teach people Islam is so beautiful and ask them to say shahada and become a Muslim. Don't allow them to think critically when it comes to Islam. I don't know. Apparently they are going to resolve the situation. On Thursday, people gather outside of the school to demand the resignation of the teacher involved. See? While you can meet only with one person outside, I can see there is more than one person outside. And I can see police car there, but it's quite okay. It's quite okay to meet. And it's okay for people to demand a teacher to be sucked. Why? Because their feelings are hurt. And they were not even in the class, by the way. They are parents. I hope they are the parents of the students who are in the school. Because it might be the same thing. They want to ban the freedom of speech as they did. In, they try to do in France. Therefore, who knows those who, who, who are... Who its parents are those people? Just think through, just think through. See, police officers seen reading the statement from the school as protesters shout that they want the member of staff to be sucked. Now, you can't be teacher anymore. Why? Because people outside of your school is asking you to be sucked. Why? Because you simply shoved the um, pictures um, which was drawn by Charlie Hapto, Hapto. What those pictures were? Pictures of Muhammad. Just outrageous. Seriously outrageous. The letter to parents re reads, The school would like to thank the parents who contacted us on Monday 22nd March, highlighting the concern with a resource used in religion studies lesson on that day. School is thanking the parents. Thank you for pointing out. We showed a picture which has been drawn a couple of years back, caused people's life to be taken. Thank you for expressing that actually your feelings are still hurt because you cannot deal with freedom of speech, you cannot deal with the pictures of your prophet. Upon investigation, it was clear that resources used in the lesson was completely inappropriate and had, had the capacity to great, cause great offense to members of our school community, for which we would like to offer our sincere and full apology. Okay. Yep. It doesn't matter about the critical thinking. It doesn't matter about feeling, uh, about um, truth. Because your feelings are being hurt. It offended you. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to say, I'm sorry, please do forgive me. Yunus Lunat an executive member of Indian Muslim Welfare Society in Batley, I cannot comment on him because it will go out of control, but told Sky News he thinks the teacher went off script and was trying to provoke. Yep. It wasn't provocation when Muhammad used all those languages in the Quran. It is not a provocation when people's life are being taken, but it is a provocation when you simply shove a picture, caricatures of that man. That's a provocation. And who says that? Not a student, but a member of Indian Muslim Welfare Society. I'll let you to Google that and check it out. You won't come across very nice things. They talk about freedom of expression. But I question what freedom of expression has to do with religion's education lessons, he said. Yep, when it comes to the religion, you cannot express 
you cannot do freedom of speech. Why? Because it is only one community whose feelings are just hurt so much. There is no freedom of thinking, there is no freedom of life, and there is no freedom of expression when it comes to talk about Islam. You will never see the image of Prophet Muhammad in our mosques, in any mosque in the world. It is not acceptable. Oh well. This is not a Muslim country. This is not a... Sh yes, right now it is heading towards Islamic Republic of United Kingdom, but it's not there yet. You are forcing your principles, your views, your laws on me. He added that gives you some sense of understanding as to why those cartons cause aggravations. Okay, okay, let me think this through. Every Christian, by default, they believe Lord Jesus Christ died on the cross and he raised on the third day. Anyone who goes opposed, opposed that, that should express, oh, you're, you can't you can't express that why because everyone knows every Christian knows how important death and resurrection of Lord Jesus Christ it's the same since every mosque none of the mosques has the pictures of Muhammad then why anyone or any book simply discredits the lordship of Lord Jesus Christ his identity and his work or even publish that in in the yearbook, why? Just so sensitive. And what we have is, what we have is, the world we live with, the world we live in, simply simply heading in a wrong direction not because we are all sinful not we need lord jesus christ as our savior which is we need lord jesus christ as our savior but as it has been ex expressed what is freedom of expression to do with the religion's education sad very sad a group who screams in front of school, all is greater, in Arabic of course, and then shouts out the Shahada, is capable enough to suck a teacher and make school to apologize for showing the pictures of Muhammad. Beloved ones, do pray for the health and safety of that teacher, alongside of our freedom in UK, your freedom in UK, this, your children, your, those, those people supposed to be thinking critically and supposed to be our next generation, but as we heard, when it comes to Islam, no freedom of expression, when it comes to Islam, offending people's feeling is much important than helping our next generation to think critical, very, very, very sad reality. The road we are going is not good at all. But take heart, Lord Jesus Christ is still on the throne and he's in charge.